Hi friends, it's Suzanne here with another Christmas Crush video. For today's card, I'm featuring the Merry Mice stamp set. I'm first going to emboss a piece of crumb cake card stock with the brick embossing folder. And then I have taken my white ink and a sponge and I'm sponging gently across the embossed side of the cardstock. This is just going to give the bricks a little bit more of a realistic effect. This is a pigment ink and it does take a while to dry so I've put it off to the side. Now I've taken a piece of Whisper White card and I have stamped the mouse and now I am using my Big Shot to cut out the hearth and home window and this is going to be the basis of my shaker card so i have a little piece of acetate can't see that I use some fa fast fuse to adhere it together and now i'm going to use my foam strips to create the little well that the shaker bits are going to be stuck in so this card has quite a few steps in it but um, it's all worth it in the end it's a really cute little card uh, the one thing that I would give a tip about is making sure that the um, foam strips are butted up against each other so you have a nice tight seal so nothing spills out all right so now I am taking the embossed card and I'm just showing you the difference between the white and the dark and I have um, just laid the window and I'm sort of pencil marking where the opening is because I have to die cut this with the layering squares and um, but first I'm going to glue it down to my white card base and I'm using Tombow for this not um, dry adhesive because I'm uh, it's all bumpy and I want to make sure that there's a really good seal Okay, so here's my square die cut or die and I'm going to run that through the big shot twice because I need a slightly bigger square than this allows. So I'm just moving it over a little bit. I can feel where it locks in place and then I will put that uh, in through the big shot and you can see I have a nice rectangle. So now I'm going to cut another window and this will be for the inside of the card. And I am using Tombow just to adhere that to the inside of the card just because I don't want you know anything to sort of fall out or anything like that. There's no acetate on that one. And then here is my Fancy Frost sequins. And um, now I'm removing the release paper from the back and I'm putting on a second piece of acetate or window sheet as we call them in the catalog. Now I have fast fuse on the top and the bottom and then Tombow on the sides just because it's a small edge. And I just want to make sure that everything sticks well because that's it's sort of sticking out of the card. So now I have the wish uh, or the greeting in the front and it says it's time to deck the halls. Running that through the big shot with the I don't know what you call that like the shelf thing for the window and now I'm taking my fine tip glue pen and I'm sort of creating like little icicles on that shelf and you can see here this is what it looks like and I put that off to the side so now I'm adhering my colored piece and I cut that out of the video just because it was far too long and there was nothing special I just colored it with my markers and um, a little bit of an aqua painter. So now I put down a thick strip from my foam strips and a little bit of Tombow. And there we go. There's the mouse peeping through the window. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.